The National Cadet Corps is an Indian military cadet corps with its headquarters at New Delhi, Delhi, India. It is open to school and college students on voluntary basis. National Cadet Corps is a tri-services organization, comprising the Army, Navy and Air Force, engaged in grooming the youth of the country into disciplined and patriotic citizens. The National Cadet Corps in India is a voluntary organization which recruits cadets from high schools, colleges and universities all over India. The cadets are given basic military training in small arms and parades. The officers and cadets have no liability for active military service once they complete their course. Topic history NCC is the world's largest uniformed youth organization. The motto of NCC is Unity and Discipline. The NCC in India was formed the National Cadet Corps Act of 1948. It was raised on 15 be traced back to the Corps, which was created under the Indian Defence Act 1917, with the objective to make up the shortage of the army. In 1920, when the Indian Territorial Act was passed, the University Corps was replaced by the University Training Corps. UTC. The aim was to raise the status of the UTC and make it more attractive to the youth. The UTC officers and cadets dressed like the army. It was a significant step towards the Indianization of armed forces. It was rechristened in the form of UOTC so the National Cadet Corps can be considered as a successor of the University Officers Training Corps which was established by the British government in 1942. During World War II, the UOTC never came up to the expectations set by the British. This led to the idea that some better schemes should be formed, which could train more young men in a better way, even during peace. A committee headed by HNKUNZRU recommended a cadet organization to be established in schools and colleges at a national level. The National Cadet Corps Act was accepted by the Governor General and on 15 July 1948 the National Cadet Corps came into existence. In 1948, the girls' division was raised in order to give equal opportunities to school and college-going girls. The NCC was given an inter-service image in 1950 when the Air Wing was added, followed by the Naval Wing in 1952. Same year, the NCC curriculum was extended to include community development, social service activities as a part of the NCC syllabus at the behest of late Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru who took keen interest in the growth of the NCC. Following the 1962 Sino-Indian War, to meet the requirement of the nation, the NCC training was made compulsory in 1963. In 1968, the Corps was again made voluntary, during Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 and Bangladesh-Pakistani War of 1971, NCC cadets were second line of defense. They organized camp to assist ordnance factories, supplying arms and ammunition to the front and also were used as patrol parties to capture enemy paratroopers. The NCC cadets also worked hand-in-hand -hand with the civil defense authorities and actively took part in rescue works and traffic control. After 1965 and 1971 wars NCC syllabus was revised. Rather than just being second line of defense, NCC syllabus laid greater stress on developing quality of leadership and officer-like qualities. The military training which the NCC cadets received was reduced and greater importance was given to other areas like social service and youth management. <laughs> NCC motto and aim The discussion for motto of NCC was started in 11th Central Advisory Meeting CAD held on the 11th of August 1978. At that time there were many mottos in mind like duty and discipline, duty, unity and discipline, duty and unity, unity and discipline. Later, at the 12th THCAD meeting on the 12th of October 1980 they selected and declared unity and discipline as motto for the NCC. In living up to its motto, the NCC strives to be and is one of the greatest cohesive forces of the nation, bringing together the youth hailing from different parts of the country and molding them into united, secular and disciplined citizens of the nation. The aims of the NCC was laid out in 1988. NCC aims at developing discipline, character, brotherhood, the spirit of adventure and ideals of selfless service amongst young citizens. Not only these, it also aims to enlighten leadership qualities among the youth who will serve the nation regardless of which career they choose. It also motivates the young to choose a career in armed forces. Topic. 
Topic: NCC flag. In 1954 the existing tricolor flag was introduced. The three colors in the flag depict the three services in the Corps, red for Army, deep blue for Navy and light blue for the Air Force. The letters NCC and the NCC crest in gold in the middle of the flag encircled by a wreath of lotus, give the flag a colorful look and a distinct identity. Each lotus represents one NCC directorate DTE. The two dots represent the officer training academies at Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh and Kampti, Maharashtra. NCC Pledge We the cadets of the National Cadet Corps do solemnly pledge that we shall always uphold the unity of India. We resolve to be disciplined and responsible citizens of our nation. We shall undertake positive community service in the spirit of selflessness and concern for our fellow beings. NCC song The desirability of composing an NCC song was considered in 1963 and registered in 1969 with the approval of Ministry of Defence. In 1974 it was felt that the NCC song has failed to catch the imagination of the youth and there was need for a change. In October 1982, it changed to, current NCC song titled Ham Sabh Bharti Yahain quote dot, quote. Ham Sabh Bharti Yahain NCC song is written by Sudarshan Fakir. Hum Sab Bharati Yahain Hum Sab Bharati Yahain Apni Manzil Ek Hai Ha, 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 ek hain Ho, ho, ho Ek hai Hum sab baratiya hain Kashmir ki dardi rani hai Sartaj Himalaya hai Sadian se humni Isko apni kun se pala hai Desh ki ruksha ki katir hum Shamshir yutha lenje Hum shamshir yutha lenje Bakur bakur tar hain hum Lekan Jilmil Ek Hai Ha, 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 Ek Hai Hum Sab Bharatiya Hai Mandir Gurudwar B. Hain Yahan Aur Masjid B. Hai Yahan Garija Ka Hai Gadial Kahan Mullah Ki Kahan Hai Ajan Ek He Apna Ram Hain Ek Hai Ala Tala Hai Ek He Ala Tala Hain Range by Range Deepak Hain Hum Lekan Jagmag Ek Hai, Ha 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 Ek Hai, Ho 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 Ek Hai. Hum Sab Bharatiya Hain, Hum Sab Bharatiya Hain. Organization The NCC is headed by a Director General with the rank of he is assisted by two additional Director Generals A and B of two-star rank Major General, Rear Admiral or Air Vice Marshal. Five Brigadier level officers and other civil officials also assist him. The headquarters is located in Delhi. The organizational structure continues as follows. Directorate There are 17 directorates located in the state capitals headed by an officer of the rank of Amaj Gen from the three services. Group, depending upon the size of the state and growth of NCC in the states, directorates have up to 14 group headquarters under them through which they exercise their command and control of the organization in the state. Each group is headed by an officer of the rank of brigadier or equivalent known as group commander. Battalion Each NCC group headquarters control 5 to 7 units BNs commanded by colonel, lieutenant call or equivalent. Company – Each battalion consists of companies which are commanded by the associate NCC officer of the rank of lieutenant to major. In all there are 96 group headquarters in the country who exercise control over a network of 684 army wing units including technical and girls unit, 60 naval wing units and 61 air squadrons. There are two training establishments namely Officers Training School, Camp T Nagpur, Maharashtra and Women Officers Training School, Gwalior. Topic. Units These 17 directorates are divided in total of 814 units divided in three service groups Army, Naval and Air. 
Out of those 684 are Army, 69 Naval and 61 Air Units. Types of units and their numbers are given below. Topic Arms HQ, HQNCC, DTE, Group HQ, BN and COYHQ Army, Technical Engineers, Signals, Medical, EAM, Center, Non-Technical Infantry, Armored and Arty Air, Flying and Technical Navy, Unit, Naval Tech. Medical, DOS TRG, Oda Gwalior and Oda Camp T. Topic. Strength Army, each battalion or unit of NCC consists of a number of platoons or KOI. For senior division boys each platoon consists of 52 cadets and each KOI consists 160 cadets. Each BN has 4 to 7 KOIs so each BN carries around 640 to 1120 cadets. A senior wing girls BN consists of 2 to 7 KOI means a total of 320 to 1120 cadets. For junior division boys and junior wing girls each troop has 100 cadets and each BN has at least one troop. Navy, for senior division boys each BN or unit consists of 4 to 8 divisions and each division consists of 50 cadets. For senior wing girls similar arrangement exists as of senior division boys. For junior division boys and junior wing girls each BN has a troop of 100 cadets. Air, for senior division boys and senior wing girls each unit consists of at least two fleets each consists of 100 cadets. So each unit known as squadron carries around 200 cadets. For junior wing girls and junior division boys each squadron has a troop consisted of 100 cadets, however, each unit can have up to 24 troops of senior division boys expanding their strength to 2,400 cadets but this is maximum limit. Topic. Personnel Topic Cadet ranks JD boys and JW girls are given ranks up to Company Sergeant Major CSM in Army. Only SD boys and SW girls are given ranks above CSM in Army. In Air Force and Navy JD boys and JW girls are given ranks up to Sergeant only and SD boys and SW girls are given ranks above Sergeant. Topic. Regular officers The NCC directorates are headed by service officers of the rank of Major General and Equivalent, group headquarters are headed by service officers of the rank of Brigadiers and Equivalent, and units are headed by service officers of the rank of Colonel TS, Lieutenant Colonel, Major or Equivalent. They are responsible for proper training, planning and execution of NCC activities. Whole time lady officers A cadre of whole time lady officers WTLO with cadre strength 110 officers has been sanctioned in 1995. They are to be commissioned partly through departmental channel and partly through UPSC in a phased manner. Associate NCC officer Anyo is an important link in the NCC organization between the BN and the cadets. As a matter of fact, Anyo is the feeder node of NCC since he, she is the one who is in direct contact with the cadets all throughout the year. There are two training establishments namely Officers Training Academy, Camp T and Women Officers Training Academy, Gwalior. These two institutions train the school and college teachers selected to head the company, troop. Courses in these institutions range from 21 days to 90 days in duration. Associate NCC officers are given following ranks according to their seniority and their training. For colleges in charge of SD and SW, Major Captain Lieutenant for schools in charge of JD and JW, equivalent commissioned officer, chief officer, first officer, second officer, third officer. Topic uniform Army cadets wear khaki uniform. Naval cadets wear white uniform of Navy. Air Force cadets wear light blue-gray uniform. The uniform is compulsory on all the occasions. Cadets from SD Boys Army Wing wear khaki full-sleeve shirt and trousers and cadets from JD wear khaki shirt and khaki shorts. Girl cadets from SW and JW both wear khaki full-sleeve shirt and trousers. 
Cadets from SD Boys Naval Wing wear white half-sleeve shirt and white trousers and JD Boys wear half-sleeve white shirt and white shorts. Girls from Naval Wing SW and JW wear white half-sleeve shirt and trousers. Cadets from SD Boys Air Wing wear light blue half-sleeve shirts and trousers and JD Cadets wear light blue half-sleeve shirts and trousers. Girls from SW and JW wear light blue half-sleeve shirts and trousers. In addition to these SW and JW cadets wear white salwar and kameez during activities other than parade. Rifle green beret is compulsory for all the cadets except Sikh cadets who wear rifle green turban. For physical training cadets wear brown canvas shoes and for drills black leather shoes called DMS drill march shoes. Woolen vests are compulsory in cold areas whose color varies khaki for army, dark blue for navy, and black for air. Even NCC cadets wear Indian Army uniforms sometimes. Topic training Total training period for SD and SW is three years with an extension of one year permissible and training period for JD and JW is of two years. Every cadet of the senior or junior division has to undergo service training for a period of at least four hours per week during the training year. However, no training is carried out during periods when the college or school through which a cadet is enrolled is closed for a vacation. Every cadet of the senior and junior division has undergo service training for a minimum period of 75% of total hours during the annual college and school session. Every cadet in case of JD, who has completed one full year of training and is in his second year attends an annual training camp of 9 to 10 days, also known as National Combined Annual Training Camp. For SD, SW the duration is usually for up to 30 days. At the end of the camp training the cadets receive a certificate of successful completion. Topic certificates and examination There are three certificates in NCC. Below describes about it from lower value to higher value. Certificate A. Uh, it can be written by JD, JW cadets of NCC, cadets of class 8 and 9. After passing those classes it can't be obtained. The candidate must have attended a minimum 75% of total training periods laid down in the syllabus for the first and second years of JD, JW NCC all wings. The candidate must have attended one annual training camp. Certificate, B. It can be written by SD, SW cadets of NCC, cadets after class 10 and those studying for plus 2, plus 3 degree. In the second year of training they can appear for the same. The candidate must have attended a minimum 75% of total training periods laid down in the syllabus for the first and second years of SD, SW NCC all wings. He, she must have attended one annual training camp, Nick. Cadets possessing a certificate will be awarded 10 bonuses marks. An air wing cadet must do a minimum 10 glide launches. Certificate, C, it is the most important certificate for NCC cadet. Now it can be written in the third year of training, in the third year of degree course, those having B certificate can write it in the first year after his plus two and in the first year of degree by SD, SW cadets only. The candidate must be possessing a B certificate. Must have attended two ATCs or one ATC and in addition to it Road Camp Delhi, Centrally Organized Camp, Para Training Camp, Attachment Training with Service Units, National Integration Camp, Youth Exchange Program, Foreign Crews, Navy. Topic grading in Certificate 3 Certificates are awarded 1. A grade, 2. B grade, 3. C grade. The best certificate is C, which has the highest value, I, a cadet has to obtain 45% marks in each paper and 50% marks in the aggregate to pass the examination. Grading is based on total marks obtained will be awarded as follows. A, grading, A, cadets obtaining 80% marks and above. AB, grading, B, cadets obtaining 65% marks and above but below 80%, AC, grading, C, cadets obtaining 50% marks and above but below 65%, AD, fail, cadets obtaining less than 45% in any paper or less than 50% in aggregate. Topic. Activities Topic Republic Day Camp RDC Before RDC all group headquarters have to face the IGC Inter-Group Competition NCC Republic Day Camp is the culmination of all NCC training activities. 
RDC is held at Garrison Parade Ground, Delhi Cant from 01 to 29 January 1850 Selected NCC cadets from 17 directorates attend the camp. Every directorate has five to seven units under them. The camp is inaugurated by the Vice President of India and culminates with Prime Minister's rally on 28 January during the camp visit of Ruksha Mantri, Cabinet Ministers, Chief Minister of Delhi, three service chiefs and various state ministers, VIPs are also organised. During the RDC, various competitions are conducted amongst the 17 NCC directorates to decide the champion directorate for award of Prime Minister's banner. Competitions are keenly contested in various events such as national integration awareness presentation, drill, line and flag area, cultural programs i.e. group song, group dance and ballet, best cadet of senior division boys and senior wing girls in each service, army, navy and air discipline and best cadet boys and girls each from junior wing. Aero modeling and ship modeling are also conducted during RDC. List of gold medal honors All India Best Cadet in Republic Day Camps 1986 SUO Sagar Vinaykumar Patwardhan, Maharashtra 1997 CSM, Muhammad Zafar Shah Dade, Karnataka 1999 CUO, D, Bohindhar Sharma, Maharashtra 2000 CSM. Kilogram Kuldeep Singh Punjab 2001 CUO D Sandeep Gohai Maharashtra 2002 SGT M Pradeep Chawla Delhi 2003 CUO B Basha Tamil Nadu 2004 CUO Dharmendra Paji Maharashtra 2005 SGT B Sridhar Tamil Nadu 2006 CUO K Vinod Kumar Karnataka 2007 CSUO D Arpan Patel Tamil Nadu 2008 CUO Divya Tamil Nadu 2009 CSUO P Gokulakrishnan Tamil Nadu 2010 CSUO R Monica Tamil Nadu 2011 CUO M Rajesh Kulkarni Maharashtra 2012 CUO Diksha Patel Maharashtra 2013 CSUO Pushpendra Singh Maharashtra 2014 CSUO Prem Kolapkar Maharashtra 2015 CSUO E Jesse Jennifer Tamil Nadu 2016 Minus SUO Aditya SP Karnataka and Goa 2017 CSUO Riddick Kumar Jana West Bengal and Sikkim DTE Kalyani Group 48 BN NCC Bharatpur 2018 SUO Gurjeet Singh Bular 49 BN Dual MH List of Gold Medal Honors All India Parade Commanders in Republic Day Camps 2003 CSUO Shanana Delhi 2004 CUO Rajesh Maharashtra 2005 CSUO Patel Delhi 2006 SUO Amrit Kumar Up and Ua 2007 CSUO S Alango Tamil Nadu 2008 CSUO Guru Tamil Nadu 2009 CSUO P Gokula Krishnan Tamil Nadu All India Best Cadet and All India Parade Commander of the Year 2009 2010 CUO Kishore Delhi 2011 CUO Mahendar Maharashtra 2012 CUO Praveen S Kumar Delhi 2013 CSUO, Shukvandar Shukla, Maharashtra, 2014 CSUO, Dinraj Lahane, Maharashtra, 2015 CSUO, Aman Jagtap, Ahmednagar, Maharashtra, 2016 CSUO, Pawan Patola. Topic combined annual training camps Katsi in CATC, the boys senior and junior division and girl cadets senior and junior wing of a particular NCC unit participate in the 10-day camp. Classes are conducted as per the given syllabus wherein certain aspects of NCC training are taught once again. The camp acts as a refresher training for the cadets and they are also trained in basic skills of survival and emergencies besides other topics. They are taught certain skills pertaining specifically to their wing for e.g., a naval cadet is trained in boat rowing, oaring, semaphore, etc. Another activity in the camp is the dog watch wherein two cadets are to stay on sentry duty for two hours at any time given time of the day. Those caught sleeping, especially during late night or early morning shifts, or otherwise missing from duty are severely reprimanded or penalized. Cadets are also introduced to weapons such as a .22 caliber rifle. 
Topic national integration camp Nick Nick is to propagate national integration among cadets and society. Only the best cadets in drills and march are sent to represent their states. This camp is considered for SSLC and higher secondary course plus two grace mark. These camps are conducted on all India basis and help bridge the cultural gap among various states of India. In addition, there are six special NICs conducted at Leh, Nagroda J and K, Chakabama NER, Nagaland, Srinagar, Lakshadweep, and Port Blair. In this camp, cadets are taught leadership quality and stage daring. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Advanced Leadership Course. Advanced Leadership Camp is conducted in many places, in this camp the officers give cadets training for SSB screening and entrance. Topic Army Attachment Camp These camps are conducted by the NCC in collaboration with Indian Army, as the willing cadets are attached to the specific regiments undergoing the training period of 10 to 15 days. In this camp, the cadets are trained by the instructors of the particular regiment, in the military tactics including day-night warfare and also get familiar with the weaponry. <laughs> Hiking and trekking camps They are full of adventure. Cadets who want to experience something adventurous must attend them. Create memories never forgotten. The cadet who wants to participate, have a good stamina for walking. This camp is full of adventure. Topic Thal Sonic Camp TSC. The TSC is a 12 days camp conducted in Delhi every year in the late autumn, in which the cadets are selected from all 17 directorates 30 plus 3 SD, JD and SW, JW cadets from each directorate, by the selection procedure conducting three pre-TSC camps each of 10 to 12 days in a week interval. The selected cadets then are sent to the TSC to represent their respective directorates in the following competitions, obstacle course, in which the obstacles include 6 feet wall, zigzag, double ditch, balancing, 3 feet bar, left bar, right bar, incline, etc. It is done after wearing full tactable gear with rifle. Firing, it consists of two types, shooting, grouping, snap shooting and application. It is done with a standard .22 caliber rifle at the range of 25 meters and 50 meters. Map reading, which includes working with compass, service protector and a map. Field craft and battle craft. Tent pitching dot etc. Topic: <laughs> Vayu Sonic Camp VSC. This centrally organized to camp is organized for air wing cadets. Cadets from all directorates attend the camp. VSC is generally conducted in the month of October at Jodhpur. Now Sonic Camp NSC. This centrally organized naval camp is conducted annually for selected naval wing cadets. Boat pulling, semaphore, whaler rigging, drill competitions are the main attraction of the camp. It is generally held at Naval Maritime Academy NAMAC at Visakhapatnam but started to be held at Karwar from 2014. Topic: <laughs> All India Yachting Regatta AIYR. This centrally organized naval camp is conducted annually for selected naval wing cadets. Yachting sailing is the main attraction of the camp. It is generally held at Naval Base Inns Chilka at Odisha. Topic: <inaudible> Rock Climbing Camps RCC. Eight rock climbing camps are held each year to expose the cadets to the basics of elementary rock climbing and to inculcate spirit of adventure amongst cadets. Four of these camps are held at Gwalior in Madhya Pradesh and other four camps at Nayardam near Trivandrum in Kerala. Topic. Naval wing activities Naval wing syllabus is common for both boys and girls. During sea training naval subjects like seamanship, navigation, communication, gunnery, damage control and ship safety are taught to cadets. Swimming, scuba diving and wind surfing are other interesting activities. Topic. 
Air wing activities Gliding, micro light flying, generally Zenair CH 701 Stoll AC, and attachment training with Air Force stations, establishments are the main activities. 100 Pipistrel Virus SW 80 on order. Topic: <laughs> Youth Exchange Program. The aim of YEP is a country-to-country -country exchange of cadets belonging to NCC, equivalent GOVT, youth organizations of friendly countries and participation in various activities and appreciation of each other's socio-economic and cultural realities. More than 100 cadets proceed abroad on YEP annually. See also Combined Cadet Force Community Cadet Forces Air Training Corps Army Cadet Force Sea Cadet Corps Volunteer Cadet Corps National Cadet Corps Ghana National Cadet Corps Sri Lanka <laughs>